So we've been asked about this a few times in what if someone adds in an icon or an image or just anything basically and they want to have it kind of like bouncing like continuously. Now you can have entrance animations where an item appears and it goes ding ding and then it kind of steadies. But they want it to continuously kind of like just bob up and down. That can easily be done. Now I am going to add in over here I've got an icon but I'm also going to drop in an image as well. I've made the icon quite big just so you can see it okay. I'm also going to drop in an image and I'm just going to go and pick, uh, let's go and pick this image here, which is a fake image by the way. Don't anyone go out trying to buy this book. It is a completely fake image. Let me just make this be uh, about uh, 150, now we'll go 200 in um, width like that. And, and by the way, this is a container I'm using, okay, and I'm going to set this to be a row and I'm just going to centralize everything like that, okay. So we got container, row, and we've got two items. We have an icon and we have this image as well. Now I'm going to go over to this icon and I'm going to give it a class name, which I already have, and it's called box. Okay. And I'm going to go to custom CSS and, and I'm just going to drop in a bit of code and the code will be in the description of this video. Look at that. We now have a continuously animated moving item. Um, you can see over here, we have a value over here that is one second. If I change that to be 10, look at how slow it is. Let's change it to be a two. You know, if you want to go with three, you know, so it's up to you how you make it. If you were to go with like 0.5, it's going to be quicker. You go with 0.1. Um, yeah, that looks a bit odd now, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's just go with one second, all right? Um, if you want to start messing around with the values here as well, you can do. And basically it adjusts its height. If I was to go with like that, look, see how high it is now, 100 pixel. If I just go with 50, it's a bit more like that. If I was to go with 20, so, you know, you kind of get an idea for what it's doing. So if I now just take this over here and go over to this image that we now have and go to advanced tab and I give this the class name of box as well. I don't need to post the code in because it's going to pick it. It's going to pick it up because it's already present on the page or wherever. Um, but if you wanted to give it a completely different name, so I call it box H, you would then go in over here, pop in the code, call it box H. It's now going to start moving again. So I could go over here now and I might say, uh, make this be 0.1. <laughs> this is quite funny, isn't it? It's like, oh, that's how quick can we make it? How slow can we make it? Like, look, it's hardly moving now, even a thousand. But you, you get the idea of what it's doing there. So if you want to have that constant animation, um, there's the code you need to use there. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow. I'll see you soon. This is probably the most ridiculous video I've ever done. Okay, oh, whatever. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.